I was gratified at the tone that I heard. Um, that, you know, we're from the government, we're here to help, and, and uh, one, one big family, and I appreciate that. But um, I'm, I am concerned about the narrative that the district's finances will adversely affect the city's bond rating. And, well, I, I mean, I, and I do want to see this, any documentation that Moody's is intending to do that. But I will tell you that my research into the city's borrowing suggests that if there's a difficulty in the city's bond rating, it's because of the city's bond. The city is bound by its own charter to limit its borrowing to 5.5% of the um, overall tax, uh, property assessment. That's um, out of a 9% constitutional debt limit. They have exceeded that threshold many times. Uh, the, the borrowing for, um, and, and the city charter also assigns 3.5% of that 9% to the school district. Over the last dozen years, the city has borrowed between $65 million and $71 million every year, while the district has borrowed between $12 million and $20 million in those same years. So, because of various limitations that the city has attached to district borrowing, the district has had smaller and smaller impact on the city's budget and the city's borrowing at the same time that the city's borrowing has exceeded their own charter. And that's of concern to me. Um, I, I think it should be of concern to any investigative reporter. Um, while the district um, does have a, a, a problem and we own it, we're the one that communicated it to the city and to the public, to the Board of Regents and the Chancellor. We understand we have a problem. It's not the first time we've been down this road and we have survived it in the past. You identified the problem, but there hasn't really been details as to how it happened and who is responsible. So I think that's probably driving some of this. It may very well. And we do have some extenuating circumstances. Our CFO's father died and has not been as available as we've wanted. We have a, a new superintendent who really does not have the same kind of handle on our uh, finances as we might like. Um, so there are extenuating circumstances that doesn't change the fact that we have a problem and that we own it. Okay, But I am concerned about this notion of, sh of the narrative that assigns the city's bond rating problem to the district. I don't believe those two should be intersecting at all. Uh, budgets are planning documents, and because our, our revenues are fixed, we have to live by those planning documents very strictly, right? We do, there is no wiggle room here. Suburban districts have uh, reserves and fund balances that they can turn to. If they were facing the same kind of overspending, you would never hear about it because they have the reserves to cover it. You would never know it. We're uh, always on the edge of um, insolvency because we do not get the funding that we need from the state that the state has acknowledged itself we should be getting under the contract for excellence. And um, so every misstep, every uh, overspending issue and, or under budgeting issue, which is more of the case, uh, some of what we're finding is that charter school costs exceeded estimates. That's unconscionable because we know how many seats there are in the charter school system. We knew when we were doing the budget. So we should have known how much that would cost. That would, that, that's a, an area that I need to have explained to me.